Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Gary Dean Detailing. About to work on this uh, Nissan Armada today. And uh, this one's gonna get wash, clay bar, and then I'm gonna apply some Infinite Insanity. And then clean the wheels, dress the tires, and the interior is gonna get vacuumed out, wiped down, and that kind of thing. This one is not horrible, it's definitely dirty. Uh, but it's not nasty if that makes sense. So let's check it out. So as you can see It's got some dirt and stuff on it Definitely kind of yucky um, I brought my air injection system which you guys haven't seen me use in a while I actually haven't really used it in a while But I was trying to design something the other day with a pump and all kinds of different things I needed something to be able to blast nasty wheels with um, to kind of rinse them off but with some pressure um, I don't necessarily need it for these wheels I am going to use it though because I want to get all that crap out of the fender well arches and that kind of thing these wheels are not difficult to clean and for me to bring out the air injection system it needs to be like a newer Mercedes or BMW wheel that is just very complex but this system is absolutely amazing and if you're not familiar with air injection this is just a six gallon porter cable um, pancake compressor nothing fancy this is a 25 foot flex uh, flexzilla uh, air hose quarter inch inner diameter and this is a harbor freight central pneumatic um, siphon feed spray gun i'm literally just going to put water in this uh, i will not have anything but water in it for these wheels um, and that's it uh, i usually run infinite purpose cleaner in there which is awesome uh, it allows you to blast if you're cleaning engine bays or whatever that's awesome because you can blast uh, high pressure the infinite purpose cleaner and it helps to clean a little bit and you can swat swap out the IPC for water in there Anyway, I'll give you a demo of that in a minute, but the interior is not so bad She said she doesn't cart around kids anymore, so Not horrible I'm literally just gonna grab the vacuum and get this thing straight You can see other than it just being generally dirty Pretty yucky. It's not too bad. Gotta get some bugs and stuff off. I'll spray the uh, front end down with Infinite Purpose Cleaner. That's a great bug breaker downer. So, all right, well, I'm not gonna waste any time babbling. Uh, I'm gonna finish up this Armada, finish the video on that, and then I'll jump on that Challenger. Uh, it's gonna have its own video though. So, all right, here we go, Nissan Armada. This is all my, this is not my usual setup. This is just a bunch of crap thrown in the car. Um, but I've got a generator, five gallons. No, this is, this is seven gallons. I don't know, it doesn't say. I think this is seven gallons of water. Um, I don't use a step ladder anymore. I use this, this guy here, which I do need to get out. Um, you can find, this is actually a gorilla ladder deal it's like 90 dollars at home depot literally the heart version at walmart is the exact same thing with white accents instead of the yellow and it's like 50 or 60 bucks should have done that anyway uh briggs and stratton it's been good for years i've had this thing for years and years it's awesome i love it i change the oil once a year i don't use it a ton like you can see I'm actually plugged into their garage now. So I usually use my customer's power. Um, she's on a well, and the well water here is in Florida is very nasty. It's got a lot of sulfur and iron and other things in it. So I bring my own water. This is not deionized. This is just tap water. And then I keep my towels in a waterproof bag these days. And I use my stuff. All right, well. I'm going to stop babbling, babbling and get to work, so I'll talk to you shortly. All right, so I've got the uh, full body wash, clayed, and protected with infinite insanity. The interior's done. I still have to wipe the door jams out and then do the fender wells and the wheels. But before I move on, she specifically asked me to do something about all these scratches right here. That's a big one right there. 
some right there. So I'm gonna use, well, this is, so I'm gonna use universal all-in-one. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on, right like that. And I'm gonna grab, I didn't bring my Milwaukee today. I have my AC Delco cheapy but for this it's fine for boats it sucks because uh it just doesn't have the uh pump you need did a lot for that so basically the brand new Universal All-in-One that was launched uh, September 1st. It is basically a DAP Smart Polish with the Ceramic Acrylics Blend in it. So it cuts really nice, finishes awesome, and it has that Ceramic Acrylics Blend that gives you awesome slickness and protection. I'd say that looks pretty good. Let's see if we can do something with that. A little bit there and a little bit there so doesn't take a lot of effort to get rid of these scratches see that one just remove that one straight up now you know what you're looking at this is a rotary polisher so it's just a little three inch rotary polisher and as you can see they did a great job removing the uh, defects with the uh, universal all-in-one let me get all this wiped down I'll bring you back and show you everything okay so I got everything all wiped down I got all the uh, polish it wasn't splatter per se it was just dust but remember how nasty that was i got most of those scratches out now if you notice there's still a little bit right there see how close it is to that edge all it would take is just one millisecond too much and it would just burn right through that edge i'm not doing that it looks a lot better than it did so does this area and that scratch is completely gone so my work is done there all right, on to the, uh, I'm going to wipe the door jams out and then I'll hit the wheels. After the wheels are done, I'll dress the tires and then I'll hit everything real quick with infinite insanity. We'll be done with this one. So I'll bring you back when I've got more done. You may or may not remember air injection. I'm going to give you a demo today and explain the system. It is amazing for nasty wheels like this. Engine bays, even spraying infinite purpose cleaner on the interior. Check it out. All right, six gallon pancake compressor. You can use any compressor. This one's small and portable, relatively lightweight, compact, awesome. 25 foot, quarter inch inner diameter Flexzilla hose with quarter inch fittings. And I just filled this Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic Siphon Feed gun up with water, just tap water. And how I like to do this is spray all of this down with Infinite Purpose Cleaner. Okay, these barrels haven't done and been done in so long, and this detail is not a in-depth enough one for me to get the crap out of the interior. So we're going to focus on the outside today. Um, so I'll spray Infinite Purpose Cleaner, and you can see it's breaking everything down, getting rid of all the nastiness, all the browning in the tire and that kind of thing. I got my little bucket here with my brushes in it. So I'll go ahead and give everything a good scrub. Now look, you can spend all day doing these wheels if you want to. You can go crazy with them, but just remember, you got to work for the customer, not yourself, or you're not going to make any money. 
So let's get in here and get everything nice and clean. Do the best you can. Use your brushes. All of that. And then you can either, I, I mean, if you really wanted to go crazy, if these wheels were nasty, which, you know, they're dirty. They're just not what I would call nasty per se. Um, if you wanted to go nuts, you could literally put some infinite purpose cleaner inside the sprayer and uh, spray everything with that. Get all this nastiness out of the fender wells. They look good. All right, so I've cleaned the wheels basically. A little lug nut brush situation. All right, now we're gonna hook up our air injection deal. Okay. Just like this, we're cleaning. We're cleaning with uh, 150 PSI or whatever it, this thing will give me as I'm spraying. And that's it. It's all she wrote, folks. And now, let's take my damp towel and uh, Wipe everything dry, and that's it. Then after that, I'll go around, do all the other ones, and I'll come back around and spray the uh, Dress to Impress, my new tire shine, water-based, weather-resistant tire shine. It has ceramic and acrylic in it, or ceramic acrylics blend. Sorry for all the noise, but as you know, Compressors take They make all the noise so anyway got that tire nice and clean got that wheel nice and clean fender wells Nice and clean so now Moving on you can see what a dirty one looks like as if you didn't see the other one And there you go air injection is awesome This armada is all done This uh, tire shine is dressed to impress, diluted 50-50 with water. Nice and glossy now. Looking great. The interior is all good to go as well. Door jams, door panels, everything's clean. Leather's all wiped down. Screen and dash. I used IPC. I always, I always go to the driver door panel and IPC that. The steering wheel really well and the shifter is usually where the driver puts his hands most of the time, his or her. So with Infinite Purpose Cleaner, it is now since September 1st when we launched the brand new Infinite Purpose Cleaner and dropped Antimicrobial Everything Cleaner and we dropped Universal Clean and Prep because we made IPC a better version of all three of them. So it has the antimicrobial agent. So I like to clean up the driver area and what they touch the most, which is the shifter, the steering wheel, and the door panel. So that's all done and clean. I wiped down the interior windows. I got these fender wells clean. I did not dress them, but I got all the nastiness out. <coughs> there was some bugs and stuff, excuse me, all over the front, which are gone now. I got up there and did the roof wash with Infinite Insanity at one ounce to one gallon of water. And then I clay barred while I was doing that. And then I just went around after I got everything done, wheels clean, fender wells done, tires dressed, uh, the door jams wiped out. I went back around and wiped everything, 
including the windows and all the trim, everything with infinite insanity. Uh, and so she's good to go. If you guys got any questions for me or you'd like to book a detail, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Or you can catch me on Instagram at gary.dean.35. These are super nice cars. They're just super big. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I'm actually right now going to start the video on this Challenger. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.